out of you. Didn't have to do it. But it done it again. And we are here. Isn't that right? By the coming of Mr. Yahuwah. Isn't that right? Still in America, still counting these people to do something they ain't going to do. More lies. Isn't that right? It's been a long time since they performed now, and that's the truth. Isn't that right? We ain't telling lies. We ain't on the corner selling pies. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. They won't televise, but they see our people making changes. Isn't that right? They see we promote ourselves. We can't wait on them to promote. We got to promote ourselves. Isn't that right? We get an opportunity to come in and sit down and hear the boy examine everything they ever told us. No more sitting down just taking it because he told it because he put a cover on it, the front and the back, and put a label on top of it. That's what he did to us. Yeah. Put a cover on the front and back of us and put a label on to call us niggas. We didn't know what the name of the definition was, but now we come back to understanding. Yes, sir. He, trying to, he was trying to pronounce something that we already called ourselves. They already knew we were emperors. Yes, sir. That's what a nigga is. Right. He's an emperor. Yes, he gave it to us, told us a low-down, disgusting, dirty person, make her get away from it. Yep. Isn't that right? The low-down, disgusting, dirty person were the people that took us. That's right. Isn't that right? The people that infected us, the people that broke up our homes, the people that gave us groceries and everything else, and yep. welfare, gave us AIDS, mm -hmm. everything you kind of gave us education. Yep. That's the real low-down, disgusting, dirty person. Isn't that, right. that right? It took away our self-respect, took away our dignity. That's right. But we back. back. Right? Climbing ourselves back out the hole, going back, looking, examining. That's what we do, put a lot of time in. Trying to look and examine out and see exactly what his words mean. Right. Trying to go deeper than what he told us. He played us. Gave a definition into I mean, I told y'all before, growing up, I never understood. I remember, you know, every week we had spelling, you had to do a spelling test. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Then you had a word, you look the word up, then you had to make a sentence with the word. You do all this stuff, then at the end of the week, then you had to get up and then you got to spell the word. You know, got to do the spelling test. You call out and you got to write it down. But you never really, you know, captured the essence of why or what you were actually doing. It looked as though you were learning something, but you actually wasn't. By the next week, you already forgot how to spell those words. You moved on to something else. They just kind of cycled us through. They never let us sit down and really got into the deep roots of where the word derived from, what the word actually meant. Was there a different connotation? And you always went, when I ever looked up, I always went with the first one. I never understood why I had a one, two, and four. I just looked at the guy, the first one, wrote it down, make a sentence from that, try to find somewhere to send. That was it. But you never really mastered or understood what we were doing, and that's what hurt us. We sit here, they run us to polling booths, they get us to uh, participate in a lot of things. We never understood what we were doing, but now we're coming in to understand it. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. This is what the book told us. It said, nevertheless, when they shall turn back to Yahuwah, he said the, the veil was going to be taken away from off our eyes. See, they blind. We just been going through, falling through a system. We ain't even understand. Y'all yep. got it? Sometimes people are saying try to um, try to get us out of the system, but we got to learn how the system works. If you don't learn how the system works, you're going to fall into another system. They're going to be worse than this system. You're not in a new system. This system already been done before. A lot of people don't know. I taught you. A lot of stuff y'all wouldn't know unless we taught it to you. You know, right? people know the difference between a Republican and a Democrat. All they're trying to tell you the rule of the people versus the rule of the law. That's what they've been the struggle of, the power of the people versus the rule of law. And see, all we've been doing, we've been running the one. All they do is give us somebody that says one, one small attribute to what we want, but then look at all the other countries, like the stimulus bill. Everybody agree that people need a bill and I need helping. Most of the money is going to homosexuality, going to, you know, other things that have nothing to do with the virus, it's having to do with homes or families, especially for the so-called Negro. They should have had reparations in them. That's right. You know, I should have had reparations. Yes, I agree with what I heard somebody say with the truth. The, um, the, um, the Americans didn't go and capture slaves. They allowed, they captured free men, yeah. free women. See, that connotation bad. They came to Africa and captured slaves. That's a lot from the yeah. pits of hell. Yeah. We captured free men, free men and women that had already had an educational system. We already had mathematics. We already knew science. We already knew about exploring. An expedition, they never teach us nothing. White folks came along, look like they educated, they just stole your information, turned around and gave it back to you. Yeah. That's all they do, take it and change the label on it. Yeah. Same thing they do when they sell these clothes. Let somebody up manufacture, bring him, put two buttons on it, and put on the back and say, I made it. Yeah. Same way they stole the country. Yeah. Trying to break these walls of lies down they've been giving us. Right. It's detrimental to our welfare. Get our young people a real opportunity. How my young people doing? Y'all feel like y'all understanding, learning? That's what I want y'all to do. I want to make sure y'all get all, hold on for a second. Let me do this again. Turn, adjust that speaker back down. 
How my young people doing? Do y'all feel like y'all learning and comprehending? Man, Cass, you all right? You way past young. Isn't that right? He on their way around the second baby like me. When you get so old, out of the wild, that's it. The old people just say that once an adult, twice a child. Isn't that right? In about another 150 years, I'll be going back to a pimple. Hopefully, I'll be at least that long. So I like that man. Almost like that semi circumcision one he had. Some of y'all, why well, y'all mad too high? Hey, y'all be trying to. Y'all like um, Jesse Jane and the Sunday kid and one of them folk. Hey, the eyes now covered up. I hate them damn things already. Y'all don't want the thing covered in my eyes. How many of y'all hate them mad? Oh, I hate them things with a passion. They'll get the long and mad and shit come down to the foot, come all up under the eye to the eyebrow. Like, what are y'all trying to cover them? Y'all know them masks come not be just as detrimental as anything. They bad for the environment, they bad for you. You weren't designed to try to resuck no air that you done discarded. I know they're saying about the virus, nobody want to catch the virus. Well, true enough, I agree. Nobody want to be sick. I caught it before. But I think the white folk put more emphasis on it than what it was. I made it sooner Joe Biden got in here all of a sudden now. They finna owe me everything. It ain't Biden. He don't know what his name is. Hey, you spell no buying. B-I-D is B it. Man, name Joe Biden. Sit around for with Biden. Where y'all people learn how to spell and read from? <laughs> right. Man, put your body in. <laughs> what is B-I-D? The man name is Joe Biden. No, let white, white folk, the only people who change their own name. Stop letting white folk make a fool out like you. Get your own mind. Get your own understanding. That's what hurt us, and that's why we had to put so much time in. Because we had to come along and erase. Well, I won't say erase, because it's good to keep it. You need to see your mistakes. That's what hurt us. Sometimes you erase things, you're doomed to come back and pick your mistakes up. So when they look at their history, basically it's a whole bunch of their mistakes, but they went back and they told lies. Yeah. White people ain't won nothing. What war they won? Tell me one war they won. They ain't won no one. Told you like they lost Vietnam. They lost the Revolutionary War. They lost everything. These white folks ain't won that. But see, when you the controller and you the writer, when you the orchestrator and the illustrator, how you gonna tell the story? Now let's just be honest. That's the truth. Now if that's if that's if, if what you said is true, which I believe is true. Then what do you think about this book you're about to read? Mm -hmm. Who do you think did Bible favor with names like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Right. These are these are European names, yeah. and it's to give you an ideology that European people are more superior than we are. Yeah. It to make it look like these are people that are actually good people when they actually weren't good people. We're not talking about the character that were in the book. It's the fact that these people have tried to go and associate themselves with people that did a great work in order to make you become subservient to them. To make you seem as though there's some spirituality to these people. If these people had spirituality, in no way in the world nobody got no spirit can go and rape nobody. In no way nobody got any kind of spirituality, any kind of real substantial uh, relationship with the creator can sit around and kidnap, and kidnap people and sell off kids and hang, and hang free people. What you gonna hang me for? Because I don't want to be captured by you? Where the crime at? Who wants to be captured by somebody for nothing? And in order for me to be saved and for me to be a lover of God, I can't escape. I have to stay here and call you master and love you and heal you and build your house and shoe your horse and cook your food so I can be saved. What kind of sense that make? Why white folk won't be saved and let me come and shoe my horse? Why white folk won't build your house so they can be saved? That's right. That's the kind of program we got. That's the kind of program they got. Every day I think about how the system done made a fool out of it, it angers me. See, because all we've asked for is our freedom, our liberty. And the sad part, you shouldn't have to ask for it. And y'all familiar with the terminology of inalienable rights? Man can't give you that. That's something that's already given. See, the problem here, what, what hurts us is the fact we go and ask white people for something that's inalienable. They don't control that. That make it must send me going asking white people, can I breathe? You don't control that. Some stuff we've sat down, we've done, it's an insult to us. The mere fact that we'll write them, we'll go and we'll see them, and we'll conversate with them about our right to freedom, our right to life. That makes absolutely no sense. Why white people don't ever meet with us about their right to life? Why don't they ever meet with us about their freedom? 
Why white people don't ever come and talk to us about equality? Why don't, why don't you ever see white people march for equality? They, they read the same book you read. So you're the only people that read this book and everything's still detrimental to you. White people get more company in church in 30 minutes than you'll get in your four or five hours you'll sit down. White people that come to church, they'll educate themselves, they'll move through and they'll make business deals and they'll move on, they'll grow from that. From Sunday to Sunday, you'll go through degradation, poverty, home broken up, kids suspension, everything else. White people change the dynamics of that. The principal goes to that church. So do the politicians. So does the police and the sheriff. So anything that's a problem, this is a simple listen. The other day, my son got arrested by one of your deputies. I take care of Monday morning. Yeah. That's right. So when we get through, we let white people, when you come, all your black ass are on the ground crying and praying. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Dumping oil. Here you are muddy and wet. And your kid's still incarcerated. Yeah. See, we don't get the opportunity these people get. We have to position ourselves to come and sit and just be taught and still leave here and there's no different. It's a, it's a waste of time to come. Everything I do, I'm doing for a benefit. I don't do nothing to waste time. You know, people I used to, I don't have no time to waste. I tell people if I'm doing nothing, I'm doing something. I had to make every minute, I had to like Billy, I got to make this one count. It's the fact that people dumbed us down and gave us bad premises of everything we believe. Everything you know. When I say God, what color comes to your mind? White. Jesus. White. The apostles. White. It's so easy. That How much program have you given me? That simple word play immediately starts to go into my mind. Which means now they train us and they play with our psyche. I say well do metaphysics. Metaphysics. Y'all familiar with that? We yeah. talked about it. Metaphysics puts us at a point of, this is what they use. Now, again, this is all their terminology. This is stuff they coined from people like Aristotle, okay? Plato, Socrates, all these people, these are the fathers of psychology and philosophy. So they use these different branches. So with metaphysics, this is what you use to actually for the foundation and the fundamentals for finding out what's real and what's not. That's what they use on you. And so they play us. So now through your, what they use, and we'll use their, their ideology of metaphysics, everything that you know to be real or how you even examine things to be real or what they are or based on what they give you. How could you picture anything differently when you've never been shown anything different? Everything that comes in your mind, everything that comes to your understanding is what they give you. Any word that you'll use to insult, that you'll use to... Uh, 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 to, what's another word for you want to get accolades to something? Anything that you'll do will all come from his vocabulary. You don't have anything of your own. Everything you got, you want to call me something, it's going to come out from his vocabulary. If you want to tell me how good I am, you're going to have to use his words. Everything you got, you don't have anything of your own. White people create. When they got ready, we came along and they found out the conversation we had in the ghetto, what they come along and told us, that's Ebonics. Right at ignorance. Unintelligent conversation. They go, ah, gag me with a spoon. That's called valley. That's rich white kids etiquette or, or linguistics. See, they get gag me with a spoon? What kind of shit is this? That's right along what that little skinny white girl to see they stick their hand down their throat. Anorexia. T-Rex. Gag me with a spoon. White people, but yet, listen, it's acknowledged. Yeah. They'll put it in books. If you're able to define it, but your conversation, your language, and this is how you communicate, and you get things done, and people understand it, which means it's a language. Yeah. Right. But they'll insult you. They'll insult you. If you don't say it just the way they said it, if you don't go along with it just the way they spell it, it'll be wrong. But they'll spell something based off of how they want to do it. Hello? So what do we do? We'll look through the book. We'll examine what he said. And then we got to come up with some source of ideal of what do we do after that? This is what I don't want to do. I don't want to keep reading the book, going through, getting understanding about words, then not change the dynamics of what happened to me out here. Everything I do, it gotta, it's got to benefit me somewhere. 
at some point we have to start looking at when does religion benefit us? When we got Christianity, it was never given to us as a source or an idea or creativity or advancement for us. It was used by white people as a form of rhetoric, okay? which is just a form of, another form of their dogma that they spew out to program people everywhere that the white man had gone and put his foot down in the European he loses his, he leaves his footprint there that you are a Christian, a Christian country, Christian nation, or a Christian island. Y'all know that? Everywhere he go, anywhere you go, why do you think they call it Latin America? That means they all been Christianized. When you had a baby, the first thing you did when you got your baby, you brought it to church so it can get Christian. Let another form of the Catholic church domination over us. Well, you bring your boy here and you bring it before them, you dedicated to him and to his God, to his ideology. And you start the first form of making him a slave. Anything, anytime we've broken away from something because it hadn't been beneficial for white people will labor you. They'll call you. Years ago, they called us terrorists. Well, it was communists. That was it. Anybody that spoke against a system that was oppressive, that was dangerous, then caught, then they looked at, they named you a communist. Yep. Then they came along and tried to say, if you came along and you wanted something, you said, we want education just like you're educated. We want jobs like you got jobs. Socialism. <laughs> so guess what? They gave the white people who were ignorant the mentality, the mentality that you were trying to usher in the doctrine of Hitler. That's what communism comes when you look at socialism. You start looking at Karl Marx. These people came and introduced that. Well, they come in with the terminology calling you a Marxist. Most of you wouldn't know. They'll never call you that. He was the father of this type of doctrine. They had a communism, socialism. These people come in. So now they use all this to dumb us down and make us afraid of titling and labeling that made you run away from anything that even gave you the remote idea of breaking away from something. It was the same way of me and you trying to, come on, let's escape, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, master. He don't come. He said, no, 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 no. I don't want to do it. No, no, come back, come back. Because now you know what's going through his mind. What's going to happen if we get caught? What's going to happen when we get caught? They're going to beat us. They're going to hurt us. They're going to cut our foot off. They're going to hang us. What's going to happen when we get away? If we stay in the condition, <laughs> we've already lost our foot. We already lost our hand. Well, it lost our life because you don't have an identity. Right. All you have is what they give you and what they allow you. Yep. And that's what hurt us. That's the, how you think they get people to break up these marches? By the fear of what can happen to you if you continue. Yep. Why are you out there? It should be because of the fear of what's already been going on. Right. Which means you should have already counted the cost up before you went out there. That's right. That's right. Well, how they make it look? The niggas, hurry now, they, they want to get TVs. They just want to burn stuff down. These are the lies that they give us. Ah, that's right. We saw footage of white people stealing TVs. Yep. White people burning buildings. When the wind burned down in Atlanta, those weren't niggas. Right, right, right. Those, that was a white woman. Yep. Have we seen her faith posted on any billboards? No, Have we heard anything about her upcoming trial? No, no. But you will always hear about us. That's how they get us every time. What about the white boy in Wisconsin? Yeah, that's right. Who crossed over from Chicago to go to a, another state, a minor with a gun. That's federal. Off the, ain't got to shoot nobody. A minor with a gun over state line. That's enough to put him away. Let alone you went here to defend the police. If the police need a minor with a gun who illegally trapped, your ass shouldn't even be working now. Who took it upon himself, not because the police was attacked, because he saw a building and some people coming to it and took it upon himself to kill some people. Who still got a bun, who still got a GoFundMe page. Y'all didn't know he had a GoFundMe page. Yes, sir. Who got a bun? Yes, sir. Who was found in a bar yes, sir. with a shirt on? Yes, sir. Then you know where his stance was. Yes, White people always get more to benefit than we do. Run to their White House, run to their Capitol. How bad America is tells you when white people start to go against their government. That's just being honest with you. That wasn't because of us. One because of niggas, one because of welfare, one because of projects, one because you're going to school with their kids. It's because when white people want something done, they know you got to do it yourself. Yeah. Right. Now, only tell, listen, 
We've yet to hear terrorists. We, why weren't these people flown out of here under George Bush uh, enemy combatant law? Where, where your labor as an enemy combatant, you're automatically taken out of America and there's no constitution. These people got constitutional right and bonds. Some of these people signed themselves out. You went into a federal building looking for leaders, congressmen, senators, so you can hang them. And you had a table out here with a noose hanging on it to hang them. With guns and explosives. Yep. All got buns. Yep. Bun and doing interviews on TV. They ain't done yet. They just punked them out on March the 5th, not even show up. Yep. They was afraid for their life on March the 5th and didn't show up, put up more gates and more ball where, and we still don't hear terrorists. No warning. They didn't think there was a threat. 150,000 white folk coming up here with no teeth in their mouth ain't a threat. <laughs> Hell, you finna shut down the toothbrush industry. How you not a threat? Toothpaste finna go out. You are not a threat? You're chanting words of killing leaders? Yeah. White people. Yeah. The only reason I say that, what sense does it make for us to sit down and look at this book and we ain't gonna do a reality? When we come inside the rooms and we pray and we close our eyes, it all goes away? Let me tell you something. This is as ridiculous as the Wizard of Oz. A white woman go to sleep, wake up in a whole nother world. She goes here and tap all kind of shit. Only reason the witch was, the witch was wicked because she said so. Because it's something she wanted to do. Witch been there existing all that time. Who they made bad? The monkeys. What color the monkeys is? Put it on the niggas. Got a lion scared as hell. Got a metal tin can walking around here crying and shit. When you ever see your metal, you go in your closet open, you see your fruit and vegetables sitting there crying in the closet. What you do? You don't need no wheels. You need to throw them out. They leaking. Why do these people sell this stuff? Look how white people get away. Anytime you want to go, just clap your heel three times. All that time you don't tow this shit up. How's the housing market crash? Y'all seen that house feel? Housing market crash. Anywhere white folk go, they crash the housing market. You seen it for yourself? Explain to me how all that time you messed all this shit up, and all you gotta do is just clap your heel three times. Her ass should have been in jail. I don't believe nothing they tell her. But you know why I watch a lot of that stuff? Just to sit back and think to yourself, what was the mindset of the person who created this? You gotta think about it. You watching, you thinking. Do you know how much time it takes to sit down and write this stuff up? What were you thinking and what was your intent? The white girl, the hero, who she fought? Who she killed? Who she take out? Who she helped? Nobody but herself. And she the hero of the whole story. You rooted for, how many of y'all want her to get back? How many of y'all didn't want nothing to happen to her? Think if you had that mindset to feel like that about yourself. When was she was in real danger? Everybody else was in danger. Everybody risked themselves for them. And you were yourself at home hoping, only wanting the best way to get back. And you still out here. Yeah. Clack your heels. Do it with me one time. Come on. One. Come on. Two. Do it again. You still here. You still here. Did you really want to go? No, you know. How many of y'all thought for a minute something was going to happen you were going to leave? But you were waiting on it to happen for her. Think about it now. You know why a lot of things don't happen for you? You didn't want it. How many of y'all did it when I asked y'all to clap your heels together? How many of y'all really thought something was going to happen? See now? It's part of the program. Man. A lot of what has to happen for us, it can't just be speech. You got to want it. You got to want it. And you have to be willing to put in the effort. How many of you grew up saying, I want to be rich? I want to be famous. I want. Did it happen? What effort did you put in behind it? Just like it was when you clapped your shoes together. Ain't nothing gonna happen, baby, unless you really want it. You gotta really put an effort into it. You gotta put something behind it. They want you to think if you just pray and ask, it's gonna happen. You're gonna have to do something. More than just sit somewhere and let somebody sell you some rhetoric. When you get a chance and we get ready to go through the book, 
It's for you to sit down and to rationalize. How can you do something that don't make sense or something you don't believe? Hello? If I didn't believe what I was teaching, I wouldn't teach it myself. I wouldn't come. If it's not something I really want to do, some of you guys will do something out of the protocol of this is just what we do. We got to stop that. That's how slavery has continued because this is just how it is. This is how the world is. This is how people are. People are like this in the world like this because people that know better won't change anything. That's something to think about. All right, we're going to get ready to look and see the book. How about that? Y'all all right? Yes, Good, I got down on me. All right. All right, Bailey. I'm going to sign before you do that. Let know. So he signed the Kato Sara, Sierra, which is, it means to asunder, separate. This is the same premise. This is the same ideology Mr. Yahuwah gave us. I don't use the title Mr. Yahuwah. Mr. because it's a sign of respect and as master. Rather than giving it to them, I say he's master. Master means he's rules, he rules over. I allow him to rule over me. Regardless, there are other things that call me to do things. There are other things that command me to do things, but I don't obey everybody. Y'all got it? This is the mindset I have, so I like to give him that respect as being a mister, being a master. Y'all got it? And I'm just an abode that they'll call a servant. Y'all got it? That's, how, that's what we have to be. It shouldn't be hard for people of color. You've done it for other people. You've done it on jobs that hadn't benefited. You've done it for a system that hadn't worked for you, nor was it designed for you. So we're trying to go in and reassess everything. Who should get this honor? Who should get this respect? Hello? Who should get that affection? You know, we're quick to quit on him. We're quick to quit on him. If something doesn't go the way we want, we quit. If something happened to us that we feel like that's unfair, we'll quit. How many of y'all went to church growing and you quit? Because typically why? I just feel like it ain't for me. I feel like something didn't work out the way I want. I feel. Once you quit, a miracle. Right, right. Shit ain't never worked out for you. Right. Shit ain't never went your way. Yeah. But you stay. Huh? Yep. Soon as something gets said that we don't like, we quit. Yep. That was me. <laughs> America ain't never said nothing you ain't like. Hmm? <laughs> Did you quit? Nope. You stayed. Why won't we get a man a benefit that's been more for us than against us? What it is taking is for us to be here in this condition so you can really see there are people that will do you worse than he will. And they won't be, and it won't be for your good. All of the suffering the thing we've gone through has been to call us back. After you've been here, after you suffer here, every so-called Negro should turn back to his creator. Because right, right, right. this man has made us to believe that he was here first and he put everything together. When you were the builders, you were the carpenters, you were the manufacturers. You were the plowers, you were the planters, you were the reapers. You were the fighters. Had we sat our black ass down a long time ago, the Indians would have defeated him. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't beat Hitler. He couldn't beat the Indians. He couldn't beat England. He couldn't beat the folks in Vietnam. He's always needed you, but now he shows you a story. He makes a movie. Hell, Rambo, Sylvester Stallone, John Claude Van Damme, Stevens to go and and uh and Arnold Schwarzenegger beat everybody in the damn world. How much sense this make? One white boy walking beat everybody else in this inside the restaurant. In it, this come out one little more. Everybody broke one hit, flip broke, ball broke. Shit break you ain't never seen break, but you ain't gonna break. What y'all think the whole process of that for? What do you think that for? If Arnold Schwarzenegger, if The Rock came in here and walked up to you and said, hey, you want to fight me? You know what's going to run through your mind? Man, he beat up all them people in there. And all of them. It is. That, so that fear is down. So now when some white guy goes and works out and look like and cuts his hair like, guess who he reminds you of? This guy on the move who beat up all them people. So you've already, he's created a fear in your mind. 
or you're losing. Why were these people in all in wars? Right. Who the person that spoiled the American sniper? I told you. I told you. Off the rip when I seen the movie. I told you. I don't believe it. I said, you think I believe this white boy did all this stuff? Ain't nobody do more crying than white folk. Ain't nobody gonna do more lying to these white folks in these movies. You think I believe this white boy went here and did all this killing? Come back, he done shot some of my poor in the limpet shoe. You don't really think I believe it. I'll watch it because I want to see how far you'll go with your life. His own friends waited to come out of the white and collected all their money from the movie. She, don't, she waited to get on DVD for a dollar. They only expose them. See, you'll think, see, they told on them. By the time they expose them, the white folk done got the money. Yep. At this point, what does it matter if he fight, he fake? We paid for the movie. We bought the CD, the DVD when it was $19.99. Now you can buy it for a dollar with a $75 gift certificate with popcorn and some drink. <laughs> now look at us. Yeah. They still winning. They still winning. The whole time, what's happening to you? Do the whole course of this. Still a slave. Still calling the same rhetoric. Still got that bad ideology. And you don't think nothing about yourself. Because if you did it, certain stuff you won't let people do to you. That's how I do. I don't let everybody do everything. I don't go along with everything. I don't have to go along with something to be the masses. I put myself in position, and I work hard to put myself away. I don't have to bow down nobody. I don't have to let nobody. anybody put nothing in my mouth and nothing in my rear end. I work hard. That's, that's why I work. I don't want to never have to beg these crap. Oh, please. I really need it. I'm a man. I stand. I look in your eyes. You're going to know every time I'm a man. You don't like what I say. I don't like what you say. You don't like how I act. I don't like how you act. I'm a man. Y'all got it. White people don't dictate me to be a man. White people ain't the people that wrote the protocol for being a man. White people wrote the protocol for breaking a man. For shaming a man. For disgracing a man. So I got to try to educate our people on a better sense. All right, we're going to get ready to go. So when you hear the Carto Sarah, what we do? We stand, because when he come back, it's going to be a, the sound of the Carto Sarah. And, I, and who's going to have to ride first? The moot, the dead, and the Mashiach are going to ride first. We said we're in it. We're going to ride like he's. Yes, sir. All right, good man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. We'll get around and look at what does say Mr. Yahuwah. Isn't that right? We'll take their book, go back through, read, analyze, and see if it makes sense for us. You know the stuff that uh, the Greeks established, these white people still use today, and we don't understand why. They beat us out because they make us answer stuff based off of their ideology. And when we can't answer the core in his rhetoric, the first thing we do is disbelieve. That's why you got a lot of white people, black people, people of color that are saying what we don't believe. I don't believe in God, the title. I don't believe in a sin because it derived from a people that created and their whole ideology is based off of mythology. A myth is a lie. That's all a myth is. You go to college to learn lies. And it's a mandatory that you learn lies. So I have to watch a lot of time when they introduce and they give me things. Y'all got it? It's important for us to look at this. That these people created and fabricated some based off some people that had the amat, which they'll, which they'll call the truth. It's a mot for us. That's how we know it's the truth. So we'll examine it. Um, we start here. And, the, and what we'll use, as always, we start with the, we'll look at the Latin Vulgate. Amazing we look at the Latin Vulgate. Why? It's one of the older writings than what these people got. The King James Version ain't but 1600 when he came out with it. He didn't actually come out with it. He actually came, they came to him, I think, in 1602, 1603. He allowed them to start putting it together. 1611, they came out with it. So these people, and then they copied out other people's work. The Vulgate was already written. Okay? It's amazing that they used Vulgate because the Vulgate was actually for people that were less educated. Which is the authorized copy of the Catholic Church. That's right. So let me get this straight. I'm in a religion created by some people that weren't even educated. And I'm on my knees crying and snot <clears throat> bubbling 
calling wrong names and terminologies mm -hmm. with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> y'all know what a ghost is. How many of y'all used to be want to see a ghost when you was a kid? You was scared yeah. like shit. You was yeah. under your cover high. <laughs> That's right. Now he done brought you into a building and told you to go get it. <laughs> I damn near lost a kitten when I was a little worried about a ghost. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, right. Now the man sold me to try to run out and go get it. You run it. What you run so you get the hold of the ghost? <laughs> <laughs> He's able to sit down somewhere and don't move. That's right. That's right. He teaches so it's the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the spirit of separation. Something that he <clears> gives <throat> us to allow us through that information. And it comes through information. Through that information, it allows us to separate ourselves from behaviors, mm -hmm. from mindsets. Y'all got it? That's what it does. These people taught us that something that came in and bursts and hits you and throws you across the pews and when you into the door, <laughs> ushers got to chase you. And people got to bring smelling salt and bring you back through and your hair got to get tore all up. Weave and nail broke all over the place. Fake pearl necklace that rolled on the tree and done tripped mud up and broke a leg. <laughs> and that's what happened when the spirit of God is in charge. <laughs> and that's what you want. Not at all. But let's just be honest, we ain't even understanding and we look and we asking for something that looks dangerous. Mm -hmm. Shit, five people can't hold you. <laughs> I want that. It don't put no gas in my car. It don't put me no closer, give me no more information. It hurts me. It puts me behind and my clothes nasty. <clears throat> they programmed us. So now we want to go back and look to see what is the real terminology and what is the purpose of it. So we start him. Now think about it, the Latin Vulgate. That's amazing. Let's break the word down from Vulgate to vulgar. Mm. Vulgar. Comes from the Latin. That's what they teach you. Then they give you a book that they put and they put vulgar on top of it. Mm. So we have to examine everybody's <clears throat> stuff. We gotta look at everybody's stuff. We gotta look at the Septuagint. We gotta look at the Latin Vulgate. We'll look at James and see how accurate Jane was in translating, and here were books that were older than his writings, were the ones that he authorized. Then we start to do what? Compare, to see for accuracy. Y'all know that? That's what we do. You know, that's what they do with your blood pressure. You know, they, they set a chart, and that chart gives them a window of where you should be. Right. Based off a premise they set. Right. Well, there's a premise set here. We don't know who's right. What, how did you come up with this saying? What made you write this? Why is it inaccurate? What was your purpose? Why? Because I told y'all guys before, and I said over and over, everybody uses prejudice in writing. Everybody does it. There's no way for me to write and not put some of me in it. <clears throat> You're dealing with people doing translation. It's not even my belief. Right. So what's going to be my writings about it? Especially if it goes against what I believe. You're reading a book, and it's important, and none of these preachers never told us this or taught us that you're reading a book that people wrote that had prejudices. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And their prejudice were what? The Latin Vulgate. Can we look at what the Latin Vulgate is right quick? We'll use their Google. Their, <coughs> Google is prejudice. They set Google up because Google is designed to run you and send you places. I ain't going. Catholic Vulgate redirects here for other use. The Vulgate, Bibula, I told you about Bibula before was when they agreed. Uh, Latin pronunciation. Bibula is the late 4th century Latin translation of the Bible. It was to become the, uh, it was to become the, Arbory official church Catholic what church the Catholic Church actually set this up and what exactly is their religion <laughs> Christianity. Christianity Christianity was not the religion of the original book so what am I expected to get when I read this all the correct information about my religion no. Or the original religion? No. I'm going to get writings that favor the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. I need to know that when I'm reading. So I don't walk in with some, um, some crazy expectation. Hoping to find something. When people look at the Bible and they read, I know I did. I was looking for something. 
-hmm. Some I missed, some I didn't see. I, I, I was hoping that when I opened, something magical would happen. Mm -hmm. That would just give me the power. I would get that Holy Ghost and I'd be able to just stop doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. I was hoping it was maybe in just uh, somewhere just in a writing. I didn't want the whole book. I read it, but I was just looking for that key little thing that yeah. get me right to what I need to get mm -hmm. to. These people didn't do it. The reason why I know, if they had, them little boys wouldn't be getting touched. Yep, that's right. Them little girls <laughs> wouldn't be getting molested by some people that claiming they none and they got some. Yep. Mm -hmm. How you going to be a nun when you getting some? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It makes no sense. That's right. Because they played us. So we have to go back and look at it with a mindset of, look, I got to watch you in your verbiage. I got to watch how you put stuff together because you had an ideology working and it was to do what? To oppress a people. <clears throat> they had the Negro Bible, which is very similar to yours. That came from England. So does your King James Version. <laughs> the Negro Bible was designed to keep the Negro from breaking away from slavery. That's right. You know, they took out context of the book <clears throat> that actually validated them fighting. How many of y'all didn't know that? They took it out. Because the whole purpose of the Bible is to suppress. I'm sick of this, man. I'm telling them to do something. Then they'll give me scriptures, right, and they teach you not to complain, <clears throat> not to worry, just hold on, don't fight, vengeance is mine, I'll repay, which is correct, but give me the whole subject matter. Mm -hmm. Don't just give me no phrases. Just use to justify me standing up to break away from my captive. Mm -hmm. You know what they'll teach you? Um, I don't know, did any of y'all ever, uh, were ever taught about... Uh, if a stranger approaches you, any of your kids ain't ever taught them? You were taught that move. What were you told to do if a stranger, can I borrow you for a second move? That's my baby. Come on, move. You can do it. <laughs> You'll do a move. Come on, move. Move, look, she said. Come on, move. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm driving. You walking. You just walking, I'm driving. Come on, you drive. Come on, I'm driving. You walking? Hey, little girl, how you doing? You wanna come and get in the car with me? Come on, you wanna come get in the car with me? Why you Why are you resisting? You supposed to get in the car. I'm a stranger. Come on, I'm coming to take you. Why are you doing that? Cause I'm a stranger and I'm trying to take you somewhere you wanna go. Take you somewhere you don't wanna go. So what's wrong if she fight back? Just start like you fighting back, trying to stop me. You're going to go to hell. This wrong. This is sin. <laughs> I'm trying to take her somewhere right. that she don't want to go. Right. How is she going to hell? Right. How Make is she sense. a sinner? Right. Make a plan. <laughs> so, this is the mindset that they teach us when they see us out fighting. This is not the way this should happen. You were supposed, we should have talked about it. Violence is never the answer. <laughs> I'm trying to kidnap her. Right. right. Why am I the victimizer trying to get the victim to buy into violence and not the answer? Right. I disagree with what you did in fighting back. It was wrong. We should have talked about it. While she's in the car getting driven out somewhere to be raped, kidnapped, buried somewhere, never to see her family like you have. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can't really call yourself an African with really with any real care, real knowledge of it, because you've been taken away from your family too long. Mm -hmm. You've been away so long they took you back. Who recognizes you? That's right. Mm -hmm. What do you actually know? That's right. You know, they had people that have been kidnapped from their families. They actually been returned 10, 15, 20 years later. Mm -hmm. They walk in, you know what I'm saying? Um Hypothetically, you just brought, come on, I've been kidding them. You come to see me, you ain't seen me in 20 years. You come and greet me. What y'all you gonna greet me? Come on, come on, greet me like that. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm look. I don't know you. Right. right. 
I've been gone so long, I'm trying to figure what is wrong with this man. That's right. <laughs> That's what they worked on us to do. Mm -hmm. They kept us away so long, they didn't worry about me going back down. And he don't probably, he probably just about to rope me off anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they used against us that hurt us. So now, all of the information they give us now is getting us away from it and making us buy into somebody else's work. Mm -hmm. Ask them about the information that was written, already recorded, where they got this from. It's amazing now. This, can we find out when this book was written, please, Boston? Appreciate them. Yes, sir. We're not a church. I never want to be a church. 16th century version of the Bible. That's the 16th Vulgate. Then as the Clementine. The Clint, was that Clementine Vulgate? Didn't they have a song about my dear Clementine? Mm -hmm. Never know what these white folk be mm -hmm. doing. I thought they had an earlier version than the 16th. Later trailer was larger yeah, work. What's that? What? Fourth century. First century. They said the first. Did I miss something? At the top. What did you say? Oh. First sentence. What the first sentence? Come on back down. Who is warm in here? Cut on some air too. Oh, 14th century, which come in. But they've been able to keep the 14th century writing. And been able to still translate and still can keep an original <clears throat> copy. What was the book where you wrote this from? All of a sudden, you can't find your stuff, but their stuff can be found. We can find the Septuagint, even from the original Greek writings. But all of a sudden, everywhere that everybody translated from, yours can't be found. Right, right. Why is that? Strange. How are you able to keep up with this? Very strange. Protect, but nothing where they wrote it from gives you, you can't get it. Very strange. Mm -hmm. If you state something, they can tell you, where did you get that source from? Source it, that's right. And you have to source that. That's right. Source me, where did you copy Come these on, versions preacher. from? Come on, that's right. It's because I don't want you to see the yep. Negro Bible is still in existence. That's right. It never left. That's right. It was to oppress you, depress you, That's right. defund you, That's right. devalue you. <clears throat> Is that important to look at? All right, we'll get back to where we're going. We'll use their Vulgate. 14, this is the book of Romans 15, 4. We only use this for foundation. All right, listen. For whatever, Nikatab before. Nikatab means were or was written. Katab is written. Were. Nikatab for Which our is, lament. Was written for our lament. The lament to teach us, to instruct us, to guide us. So if that was the purpose of why it was written, if that's a true statement, <clears throat> that whatever was written before, before we got him, everything before this sentence were ever written or ever made, why do why you think they don't let you get it? Right. Because when you learn what will happen, right. you will use it for a defense. That's right. Mm-hmm. And let's say that again. For what things soever Nik Kata were written, was written, was Nik Kata for our Lame. Lamed, which is the Abari word. The Lamed means to instruct, to direct. So they want to make sure they use learning. We'll buy into that or teach or taught us that through patience, patience and the Nakum. comfort, which is Nakum, Abari word for consolation of the Kitabin. Of the writings, Kitabin, the writings, might we might have the call. your call, which is an expected wait, waiting with expectation. What can a Negro wait on now with expectation? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And yet you have a book that says that what was written before was written for that purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. So what do you think your oppressor knew before he gave you this book? Mm. I don't need the so-called Negro to read something that will enlighten or instruct him to break away or to change the way he thinks. Right, right. <clears throat> I never need him or her to find their identity. Right. So I'll leave them with a book and I'll sell them on a Christian promise, mm. a Christian base that you won't have. Give up, let go, let God. You can't get reparation. You can't get equal praise. You can't even get a, a legal right to vote. That's right. You don't have a permit. That's an amendment. Yeah. That's yeah. renewed every 40 years. 
But yet they tell you to trust and wait and white people are proactive. Yep. It's not to <clears throat> run down whites. It's just you to understand how you need to think. Because they know they made up the premise of a God based off of you having a Allahim, a powerful, a strong one. And they don't want you to know that. So you buy into the hype of a God. Then he give you cartoon character and make them gods to let you know it's a joke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, Beth <coughs> Shemwal. They call it second, second, what do I do mm -hmm. with my pen? They'll call it second Samuel. Right quick, Beth. We use the Beth for second. And this is the <coughs> Septuagint. Shamwal, which will be the name of Allahim. See if that's one. Uh, let's see one. Let's see. Let's see one in ten. We'll read down. Let's see this read. One in ten. And this is the Septuagint. Now in the King James <coughs> Version, you can read it. We'll see how different they'll read. One in ten. Mm -hmm. Septuagint. We'll see how this read. This is the Greek version. Okay, one to ten. So I stood over him. Matter of fact, this ten back me up to. Uh, give me verse eight. Let's just look at something. How about that? Let's just look and see where this is going. Happy New Year's. Yes, sir. Okay, and he said to me, "Who art thou?" And I said, I am a Amalekite. And he said, to, okay. And he said to me, stand over me and do what? Kill me. Moot, which is to slay or kill or murder me. For anguish is come upon me. And as yet my whole life, <clears throat> Kai, is the word for life. Kai is in me. Verse 10. I went to, oh, so, so I stood over him and slew him because I knew he would not kai after he was fallen. And I took the crown that was upon his head and the bracelet that was upon his arm. Does y'all read the same way? Pretty much. Yes, sir. Does it talk about him taking the crown mm -hmm. and the bracelet? Mm -hmm. All right. And they, and they lamented it, which wept and wept and <clears throat> What happened? Oh, I'm too far. Oh, sorry. And I have brought them hither to my Adon is the word for Lord, not Lord, Adon. And Daoud, that's his name because he's beloved, laid hold of his garments and rent them. And all the <clears throat> Anashim, that's the word for men, who were with him, rent their garment. They tore their clothes. And they lamented and wept and fasted till the evening. For Shaul, that's his name, Shaul. And for John and for Jonathan, his being, and for the arm of Yehuda, and for the house, which is the Beth of Yasharal, because they were smitten with the sword. Now you see this, all these people cry. <clears throat> now Yasharal was at war. Okay? When they was at war, Shaul was so he was injured. And he was injured to death. And he looked at I hadn't died yet. Because you take your sword if you would, and just go ahead and kill me. Because I can see I'm going to be suffering for a long time. And the young man said, I took the crown and the bracelet to bring it back. He was here passing by. I just want to brought this back to you and let you know what happened. So when Daoud and his men heard this, they wept over him. They wept and tore their clothes. Let's see what happened. For Shaul and for Jonathan, his men, and for the arm of Yehuda and for the Beth of Yasharal. Because they were smitten with the sword. And Daoud said to the young Ish, for the young man, with the sword. And Daoud, the, and Daoud said to the young man who brought the tidings to him, which, who gave him the news. Whence art thou? And he said, I am the Ben of an Amalekite. That's the word for son, Ben. That's how you have Ben to men. Sojourn. And Daoud said to him, how was it? Thou was not afraid to lift thy hand to destroy the Mashiach of the Yahuwah. His name Yahuwah. Mashiach is the word for anointed. He looked at, 
I don't give a damn. How was it that you didn't think twice before you took it upon yourself to take no sword and slay the man? This in your book. Mm -hmm. He felt like, see, white people feel like they help you out when they kill you. Mm -hmm. Make it funny. Pull you mm -hmm. over, tail light wasn't working. Let me see your license. Get him. Bam, 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 gun. Mm -hmm. How was I wasn't afraid to kill your whole Mashiach? Right. Yeah. Right. Here we have a situation where the man that came and gave him news. I came back. I wasn't the one that shot him. I wasn't the one that shot that put the sword in the man laying down here on the ground. The man asked me to do it for him. How many times white folks said that you didn't ask for it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many times have we been told you asked for it? Yeah. That's when right. the man spoke to you and you didn't respond. <laughs> Give me a license. Bam, take it too long. You heard me talking to you, nigga. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He asked for that. <laughs> That's right. Mm. And thou said to him, how was it thou was not afraid, scared to lift thy hand to destroy the Mashiach of the Yahuwah? His name goes here. We don't know about no Jehovah. That's right. That's crazy. You can't write that in Abari. That's right. And thou called one of his young unashamed, and he died. Oh, I ain't say it. That's good, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Called one of his young unashamed and said, go and fall upon him. And he smote him and he moved. He died. Mm. <laughs> Explain me about pray for my enemy. Hmm. <laughs> Why didn't he have, was a man after all of him on heart. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Where did privilege went? <laughs> this is in your book. Let's see what he did. Where am I? 16? Mm -hmm. And Daoud said to him, Man, I made a mistake. <laughs> I was crazy. The love of God surpassed it. All understanding. <laughs> and, and I knew better, and I'm just a nigga. Y'all read it? <laughs> can, you, can you read? <laughs> That's what they told you. Yeah. Cause you looking at this, but what is your mind telling you? Mm -hmm. Now, what purpose did it make to put in the book and tell you that what I was written for was written for your learning? That's right. That through patience and comfort that you might have your call and expect it, or expect it wait. We're waiting for Mr. Yahuwah to do something for us. Yeah. And thou who <laughs> said to him, Thy dumb is the word for blood. Dumb. Your, your blood be upon thine who? The person that killed you is not guilty. For thy mouth has testified against who? You said it. Don't go and say we made up nothing on you. That you said out of your own mouth that you done it. Mm. Saying I have slain the Mashiach of the Yahuwah. And Dao limited with this lamentation over the man who was killed. Why did you think he was crying? Over Shaul and over Jonathan, his being. And he gave orders to lament, to teach. It to the Benin, sons of Yehuda. Behold, is it written in the book of the right? Set up a pillar of Yasharal. Yosha said written in the book of Yesha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't put that on him. <clears throat> teach him he wanted them to teach him. Mm -hmm. Teach him about this. You said about and he wanted to set up some form of memorial for them. So they could commemorate and remember that. That these people slain Yahuwah's Mashiach. Don't y'all know that we're somebody pray? Let, let me tell you what. Now, I, I'm a man that's been in the world, been in the street. One thing I know how to do, you could build a woman up or break her down. Yeah. I took a pretty woman and break her down that she don't even feel pretty. It's because of what you could do to antagonize her, how you could do to just break down her psyche. 
because you then you'll start to deal with her intellect. You gotta you just break her down and she don't want to feel pretty or want to put on things or want to really do something and she'll become subservient. She'll accept what you give her. I see when you can build a woman up where you can make her feel better about herself <laughs> and she can grow and she can flourish, she can embellish. White people know how to take words and break you down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want better. You don't want better. You'll just accept it. And you'll realize that's just part of the relationship. Because that's how you've been programmed. Until you see and get into something better than what you're in, you don't know anything else. The book you got, the same book that's on your granddaddy, your mama table, and his daddy, and his mama table. And what did they ever accomplish him? Absolutely nothing. There's nothing you'll ever get here that he won't ever be over control that he'll take from you. Hmm? I'm not teaching you to kill white people. I'm telling you to kill stupidity. Right. Everybody keep thinking the answer is go take a gun and fight. No, the answer is you need to kill out what's been holding us down. That's right. Because we've never investigated verbiage. We've just accepted it. If he put a pretty cover on it and write and he pinned it right and it's signed with an author and it's got a content page and it's got a summary of what it's about, shit, it's got to be right. Who spent that kind of time and money? <laughs> people that want to program people. <clears throat> That's what a program is. You go to school and people tell you about the program they're in. Mm -hmm. Huh? Just like a project, just an experiment. Until you start actually looking at words and investigating words and learning what words mean and learning how many different ways he can take a word and twist it around on you and use it against you when you think it's for you. Look at him. This man came back and felt like shit, man. I, I helped him out. You think he brought that back and he wasn't looking for something? Man, you think I'm going to tote a crown out of him? Shit, give me, break a nigga something? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Your right. car gets stolen, I bring your car, shit, give me something? Right. Mm -hmm. Give me 20, give me 50, give me, give me 100. Mm -hmm. He looked at what you've done, everybody knows not to do. He didn't say, you weren't taught this, so I'm hold this against you. You think all these countries from Asian to all these people, look at Joe Biden came out to defend somebody pushing down somebody Asian. If we could only have that much abuse. Right, right. We can go, this gotta stop. We can push an Asian? <laughs> Shit, don't they know karate? Just flip and land back on your feet. That's yeah. right. That's we getting gunned down. Gunned down. That's right. We getting hung. Yeah. I ain't advocating pushing Asians or nobody else, but I'm saying, what about our abuse? That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. When we getting pulled up, we dealing with white people. It's the death sentence. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Shit, beating up somebody Asian, that's a benefit. They always go on somewhere and get us a dosha, get taught and come back and whoop everybody's ass. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. We don't never recover. That's right. No. That's right. You seen the movie? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, behold, it is written in the book of right. See that? Look, look, look you ain't gonna believe it, boss. Any of y'all. He, put, he said, put in the book. So if I want to find out how to do right, what, what do you think the best private place to look at? <laughs> book Probably a right. book called Right. Book of Right, yes, sir. Thank you, we had the book of Right. Mm. We need mm -hmm. that. They named the book Right, but they named it Right. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Hold on for a second. Talking on kid one. Let me get a book of him. <laughs> book of Right got all kind of ass kicking it. <laughs> yes, right. sir. <laughs> yep, I know it's coming. Ass whipping coming. I yes, right. it up. Once yes. I'm red, I got to put it in the place. That's yes, right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But this is, you know, amazingly, this is stuff to think about. This ain't Tony. I don't write this. This is up. That's why I put up so you can verify. Mm. What do you do when a man say, look, put it in the book of right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. How many times we struggle with wondering with pacing the floor, wondering, should I? I don't know. Oh, yep. I don't want to be wrong, man. I yep. just, man, I feel so bad. You know how some of our bad feelings are coming in through? It's been through their word they convicted of. Yep. Yep. It ain't yep. been because you read that in no book that's been right. That's right. Because he, why would he want them to put in the book of right? <laughs> so you can be justified. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that's what hurt us. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Let's look at the eighth chapter of the book of Yukonai. They call it John. The proper name is Yahukonai. 8 and 30. By looking at this, what we'll look and we'll try to look at is how we've had power and we gave it away. 
You can have it and you can give it away. Mm. Yeah, you can give it away. A lot of times we keep thinking we giving stuff up because they beat us and, and they taking it from us. No, we will, you can willingly just give it away. Yeah. Mm. And that's what we've done. we giving it away willingly. Just being honest with you. Sometimes you'll get tired of fighting. Sometimes you just get tired. And that's how people just give up. You know, I'm just tired of fighting the same battle. And that's why they keep winning. <clears throat> so we can't stop fighting until we actually get the victory. That's right. That's right. We've never gotten it. That's right. A $1,400 check? What is that? Nothing. Divide that up over 400 years of pressure. What's the math on that? $3,000 per child. How many kids did you take and you cast off that boat? When come on, preacher. Come on. How many kids you got we still can't recover? Come on. Come on. They talking about the Mexican kids that's in a jail cell, that's in cages, that they still taking care and they putting at home, they keeping. Where are my damn kids? That's right. That's right. My kids in a cage separated from their family. They call it the prison system. That's right. Yeah. That's right. When we going to get my kids out and reunite them with their, with their parents? That's right. And our black ass run around here and worry about everybody. First thing I do, I got to fix things for myself. That's yeah. right. That's right. I can't help nobody else till my stuff get fixed. That's right. Even Malcolm tried to tell him that when whites were not. He said, first thing I do, we got to get together with ourselves. That's right. That's how they broke up our movement. Everybody come running in, whole bunch of Asian folks, whole bunch of Spanish folks, whole, whole stuff. What make all y'all want to run over here all of a sudden? That's right. That's right. Everybody lesbian. That's how you broke the movement down. That's right. Because straight mm -hmm. men, I mean, I'm not holding no sense in hand. We ain't got no same struggle. That's right. Shit, you got a problem with deal pickles. Yeah. <laughs> right. That ain't That's my right. struggle. That's right. For gunning me down for my color, not for being no homosexual. That's right. Hell, most of them getting beat up because they messing with kids. Yep. That's right. That's right. And be honest, you gonna attach that to me? Me walking down the street like that, the same thing as being gay. Not at all. That's crazy. Crazy. In fact, even Biden tell how that is retarded. That's right. right. Those are choices you make. That's right. You make that choice separated from what I'm doing. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's how they break the movement down. <laughs> Everybody get in who ain't a real victim than that. It's like, yeah, you know what? We just can't keep fighting them. With your Spanish ass. Who you talking about? They ain't whooping you. They whooping my ass. That's right. They pray. Wait for Oh, they pray for Pray for who? They That's whooping right. my ass. That's right. They ain't whooping on you. That's right. Look at the people that tell you to pray and stop. They not victims. They not victims. Right. That's right. <laughs> Go put your hand on some white folks and say they pray. Right. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. Go say they wait on Jesus. <laughs> Shit, they'll tell you they are Jesus. That's right. <laughs> this is the 8th chapter of Yucanon. They call it John. Chapter 8, verse 30. Matter of fact, give me 28 since we're here. Let's see what 28 say. How are you going to be 30 years old and you've never been 28? That's right. See, th this is the thing right here in reading. The whole goal is to understand. See, now you got to look at yourself. When you look at Dao, a man, let me see something for a second before we get that. Let me think myself. <clears throat> mm. Say that the thirteenth chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles. I want you to look at something. Let's look at a statement. Say that thirteen thirty. Let me see thirteen thirty four. This is the Latin Vulgate now. When in the New Testament we go Latin, and the only reason we go Latin because Latins were in charge and control at this time, not the Greeks, but they actually spoke Greek, and they regarded the Greeks as being more intelligent. So it's important to look at why you're going from different places. Because at this time, our people would have been under the domination of the Romans and not the Greeks. See, a lot of people, they, talk, they don't know what they're doing. Now, look at this. They get the book. When you look at the strong, you got two categories. What two categories are about? Yeah. Why I don't say Latin, though? Amazing. Don't say it. That's right. When they were actually dominated under the Romans at that time. That's so right. now you got people running around thinking they smart, talking about Hebrew and Greek. <laughs> Hell, they don't know what they're talking about. I'm just leaving them stupid. The Latins dominated. That's why you had the Vulgate. That's right. Because the Latins were in charge. Yahushua was actually up on the roof. Caesar was in power. That's right. That's right. So they need you to stay dumb. Christian church would dumb you down. <clears throat> Hebrews are like, dumb you down. Yeah. They sit around here changing <clears throat> every word to an I. To a, they're just saying stuff don't make no sense. Where you getting these words from? Hmm. Cause they're lazy. White people being wrong don't make have no excuse for us being lazy. That's right. That's right. I said thirty-seven. <clears throat> I make it thirty-four. I just read it down right quick. I said, do that. I let them do it. I will let them read. All right, thirty-four. 
Let's see what happens. Let's see what that's what I want to do. All right, listen. And as concerning that he whom him up from the moot. Kum or Zarak is the Abari word for raised. From the moot, moot, M-U-T-H is the word for murder, kill, or die. <laughs> It's actually called Muth, M-U-T-H, Muth. Verse 22. Mm, let me see. Da, da, da. He said 22. Yep, yeah, okay. You're right. <coughs> 22, he right. 22. That's right, too. 22. Appreciate you. Dexter. That one. That one. I just tell him. <coughs> Don't worry about it. We're going to eat after a while. <laughs> All right, listen. This 22. Listen. Now I want you to look at your Jane verse so you can see how different they read. All right, listen. And when he had removed him, what happened? He combed him up unto them, Daoud, to be their Malak. So that when he removed Shaul, that's who he raised up. He raised up Daoud to be Malak. We don't have a king. This is white people rhetoric. Our terminology or the terminology is called Malak. A malak is a emperor, and that'll come from even when you look at a when you look at the olive, the bull, where they'll think what they'll call it, but the olive is not a cow. Or ox. You watch his horns go up. You'll see like the Asian people, they wear their hat. They used to go up and out an uh, emperor's hat because it looked like the olive. The olive for strength. And they looked at this, and that's how we were. We were emperors. We got king title for these people. <clears throat> Nigga ain't no king. Only king they got is Kong. That's right. No king don't mean shit. They took King Kong and made that from. Uh, Jack Johnson. How many of y'all didn't know that? That's <laughs> when they came up with the movie with King Kong from. Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson, white black man in 1906, knocked white folk ass out mm -hmm. for money. You can't get no better than that. Mm -hmm. Knock their ass out and get a check. Check, please. Mm -hmm. Had a white boy in the ring with him one time. He messed around there, and Jack Johnson would talk, and he would talk to the crowd. <clears throat> y'all know how many y'all didn't know that? He would talk to the crowd. He tell them, "This your champion." Listen, and whoop him in front of white people. He was in there talking one time and messed around and slipped. And the crowd went crazy. Jack Johnson hit him so fast, hit him so hard, he made his teeth stick in his glove. <laughs> you know how hard you got to hit a man to take his teeth out and they stick in your glove? Mm. That's how pissed he was. You know they realized? We probably should have been quiet. <laughs> Jack Johnson used to date white women. He married her. He will come out of the club. He owned his own nightclub. He would come out of the club and have two white women on his own. A nigga in 1906, 1908, in the 1900s. White people had it out with Jack Johnson. They arrested him. That's how they came up with the Man, man Act. Act that's right. Most of y'all don't know about him. You transporting over the state line. That whole thing was made up for Jack Johnson. <laughs> so they made up the movie King Kong. Mm -hmm. Think a big black man, what he kept going after? White. The man. white woman. See, white people, listen, how many of watched King Kong the movie? We shouldn't when we learned we were being insulted. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why the hell, if you paid attention, hell, the white woman went to him. Yeah, that's right. Ain't that right? Yep. See, they don't pay attention. <laughs> When did he just pop up in Mary to me, I'm looking for a white woman and a stack of bananas? The white woman came over to his island. Yeah. See, they don't never think about that. When do you ever remember him on his own just going after the white woman? <clears throat> then she started hollering and screaming. That's how they get us. Yep. Pay attention now. Daoud the Malak, to whom giving testimony, he said, I have found Daoud. Look who Yahuwah said it. I have found Daoud. The who? Being of Yashi. Of Yashi. A who? A Ish. According to what? Mine own line. So when Daoud felt like it was right to kill him and put in the book of right, Yahuwah said, that hey man, he got the same care I got. Come on. That's right. See, that's what people did. Well, you know, <clears throat> David was wrong. David wasn't righteous. The man said, I found him. Yeah. And said he was a man after my own law. He was a man after my own heart. Mm. See, people ought to consider this. And you know why they were written? For well, learning. For your learning. Because now, somebody going to teach you to hate him. See, back then, see, God, God was merciful back then. Why are you merciful now? See, right. people were ignorant. People are ignorant now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back then, people didn't know him. People don't know him now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything you saying gonna start. It's still working now. Yes, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But he looked at that man. Sat him. Looked at that he was told even Daoud was gonna kill Shaul at one time, mm -hmm. and he was told not to touch him. Yeah. Let's see what happened at the second chapter. I think of the book of Tahalim. They call they'll call it Psalms. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tahalim. See if that's two and one. What's it? Uh, I read. Are y'all learning anything? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> They'll call it Psalm Tahalim 2 and 1. So I want we'll read down. Listen. Why do the Goen rage? See that? That's what he want to know. Why do they rage? What happened? And the arm imagine a vain thing. Uh huh. The Malachim of the Arats set themselves, and the Sharim take counsel together against Yahuwah and against his Mashiach. Now, 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 hold on a second. Now, now <clears throat> this is what we look at. When you look at these four, he's talking about the ruler, they gather themselves together. This is the court system. When mm -hmm. we read that now, they start talking about contemptors or contempt. That's what they did. They found him in contempt. Right. Mm -hmm. They despised him. That's what they say. He was despised and rejected. So all that, how many of y'all don't remember that statement? How many of y'all do remember the statement? He yes, was despised sir. and rejected. Y'all yes, remember yes, sir. looking at it? Yes, sir. That makes sense. We need to. I said, you don't remember. Y'all remember. Y'all remember reading. You need to know these <clears> things so when you hear them, you start to correlate stuff together and realize that's how they think about this. Who, who, listen, listen, listen here. Wherefore did the heathens, basically, I think the definition for heathen is like uncultured minded people. And the Goim, the nations, imagine vain things. The Malaks of the Arat stood up and the rulers together to gather themselves together against the Yahuwah and against his Mashiach. Yeah. Listen to what happened. Saying, let us break their, their bands so asunder. That's amazing. Cause that's what they, and that's what we do when we, when we get him. That's what, they look at. That's what connects us. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, sir. That's what, band, that's what keeps us together. They want to break that. Com you know, you have a band of soldiers, a band of men. They, look, they broke up our unity. Mm -hmm. what you, so let me ask you a question. Now, I'm trying to think about the heathens and the nations. So this first had to come into their mind. Then run over here and do something. If I came in did, I plotted this before I got him. I ain't just walk up on you and do Just think about that. If I come and do you wrong, you thinking, man, he probably didn't mean to do that. That's how. The whole time, I already had my mind set on this stuff. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and your presidents, your kings, these people, of the rights, that's just in one place. Oh. All these folks together stood up, and the, your governor, the other ruler, the Shari, all the other gathered themselves together against the Yahuwah and against this United Nation. Mm -hmm. That's all your rulers, that's all your Malaks, your Malakim. And you know what these folks sat around and come up together? They keep you in the situation you're in. You don't want to think about it. How, why he just didn't talk about the people that were just there? He said, oh, they'll rise. Mm -hmm. All these people with the gap. Listen, all these people don't know. And I, I, and I had to teach y'all that kind of stuff. Pilate was a governor who sent him to Herod. Herod was an emperor. He ruled who's on the sea. These people were in ruling states. This was just not a governor. You had a governor. You had a king. Then you got Caesar who emperor over all these guys. All these people got together. Then they brought in who? They brought in your, your Kohanim. Mm -hmm. these, are, these people also are your judges. So now they got you set up from the legislator, from the executive, which will put them, and all these guys, which were hero, and all, and then you got them down to, you, to your legislative branch, the people that put your law, then you got the judicial branch. When they gave them over, and the soldiers took them away. That's your police officers. You got your president, you got your, you got your senate, and you got your congress people sitting in here, and then they gave the joker right on over, and they told the police to take him away. That's your mm -hmm. soldiers. Mm -hmm. Three branches of government took him down. How you think they take you down? Mm -hmm. These people meet before they pass sentence on you. These people don't just, you don't throw, white people don't get thrown. They meet. White, listen, y'all see how long it took them before they start arresting them people? Yeah. They don't, yeah. do, they don't do like you. Yeah. See, you, you become reactionary too quick without thinking out or plotting out how you're going to work it. See, they wait. Now when they're moving all these people, mm -hmm. it's strategic. Mm -hmm. People thinking they got away, they gone. First, the count was up 50. It was 100 <clears> some, <throat> 200. They had 300 some. They said, still got more red. Because they're making people think, we got everybody. Yeah. Whole time, they still work. Because they learn, you caught us off guard. We're going to return the favor. You're not ready for this. You thinking, man, they probably worry about me. They got the people they want. Not at all. And we're still investigating them. Because they're strategic. Niggas, we'll move fast and do something, and then we die down. 
See, we like Yahuwah. He talked about how he wouldn't be angry <clears> always. <throat> See, we don't keep anger like they keep it. When white folk get angry, they hate you for life. I know something I deal with, I do business with. I call one and I call for a part and I ask him something. He's a good old boy too. I call my ask for a part. I said, Well, you know anybody that's got? He said, Yeah, let me look at him for me. Look at him. He said, Oh, they got it over here, such and such. He said, well, that's the Muslim. He said, I wouldn't buy nothing from him. I saw yeah, listen, he <laughs> what am I like he never felt it that he'll let me know. He look up to see who else got the part. He said, Let me see who got it. He said, He said, Well, such and such got it. He said, yeah, that's the Muslims. He said, I wouldn't buy nothing from them. He said, you can buy something. He said, them Muslims? He said, I wouldn't buy nothing from them. He said, I don't trust them. <laughs> I assure you, he's never been insulted or attacked by a Muslim. Right. He's only been told and programmed by his white mm -hmm. predecessors. Right, mm -hmm. right. See, they teach white people that hate you any white people that done dealt with you. Yep. It's white people don't have no dinner with you that hate you, who been told things about you. There's no way in the hell no 18, 17, 15 year old white boy got no reason to hate me a white girl. That's right. What, right, what the hell mean you done done? That's right. right. You a nigga, 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 nigga. <laughs> that ain't no answer. No. Our end is when we become defensive about how we being treated and our dislike, now they tell you on, you prejudice. How that president if I don't like the way you treat me? How? But they make you buy into some everybody prejudice. That's only to have a like or a dislike. There's a difference between prejudice and racist. I am a racist. I believe that the Yahudim are superior to anybody else. Mm -hmm. I don't even talk about the color. I'm talking about the people that have a lifestyle. Right. And anybody can be Yahudim that accept the lifestyle. That's right. That's all there to it. But <laughs> see, they make you buy and say, making you think that something is wrong. What in the world any other race should be thinking another race superior? Now, what the hell are you going to limp it for? And I'm going to look, I know I ain't going to win because everybody's superior to me. You go there with that. We can win this. Yeah. What do you think the purpose of putting all them nations there together? Because they feel, everybody else feel like they are superior and we can win. We can beat all these other countries. So what's wrong when you think more of yourself and, and the more of yourself is what you actually do and can do? Ah. <sighs> So we're looking at why did the heathens rage and the Guin for nation imagine vain thing. I told you before they do anything, it's always a thought. The Malachs, they put kings of the Arats, stood up and the rulers gathered themselves together against the Yahuwah and against his Mashiach, his anointed, saying, let us break through their bands. So we had a connection. Let me hold your hand for a second. Come on, no, come on, come on for a second. I want you to get through him. <clears throat> See, there's an effort. This is the mindset they had. See, now what some people might do, you kept doing, you just kept trying to go on. Once I say I can't, then I need to think about how am I going to do this? Because my goal is not to stop. I got to break this unity. I'm going to show you how this now. I, I, I want y'all to pay attention to what these people do. You just don't know. This is what they said. They're going to break this band. Because we got a brotherhood. We got to connect. Man, you should do this. Man, ain't no sissy, man. Let me go. Ain't no faggot. See, guess how they broke it now. That's it. I had to do it. That's what we gay. That's what we gay. Okay. Hell no, we ain't gay. Guess what happened now? See that? That's all about how you programming. See, we looking for you to do this. What you did? Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. They ain't going to have. Come on, brother. Hold, bro. We don't let that, let that cracker stop us. Yeah. Now answer the question. Okay. Hell no, we ain't gay. <laughs> kind of question. Now, see that? See, it ain't always got to beat you with physical. That's what hurt us. Because you keep looking for the physical fight. He beats you mentally. Yeah. Now, I got to work through hell. I don't like that stuff, man. Tell me we gay. Man, get back. Go, go, man, go to that song. Look at that. Further and further distance. A little more. <clears throat> Never want no nigga think I'm gay. Mm -hmm. I'm old, man. Look how for they broke us. Yep. Oh. See that? That's good. You've been on TV long enough. Everybody got 15 <laughs> seconds fight, you'll use up yours and four more people's talk. But you see, I'm trying to get you to see the fight that you keep fighting ain't always the physical fight. It's mentally how he <clears throat> breaks you down. <sighs> Let, I'll show you how stuff works. Now you see what they're gonna do? Let us break through there and cast away their from us, 
He that dwells in the Shamaim, which is the, they call the heaven. That's Greek. All fictitious. That's why they give you heaven ice cream. It's called the Shamaim, which is the heights, the expansions. <clears throat> Uh, dwell on I shall do what? He laughed. Yasakal. They, they call Isaac. There is no name Isaac. Except for Hayes. He was a good singer. Yasakal is his name. It means laugh. Them to scorn. And the Yahuwah shall mock them. See that? Then, then shall he speak to them in his anger and trouble them in his fury. <clears throat> but I have been. Well, 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 well. But I have been made, oh my goodness, made malak by him on Sion, his kudash har, which they put holy. We don't do holy. Let's show them what H-O-L-I is. Look it up so they can see it. I know they put a Y here. Don't forget now, you got a vowel system. Yeah. That's how they're going to get you. Mm -hmm. A-E-I-O-U. And right. sometimes. Y. That's right. Because they're going to tell you that that Y is actually I type. See, the white people play with it. Mostly people don't know the difference. They don't know the difference with a consonant or a vowel, how it actually works, and how white people play you. Yeah. They can stick a Y for an I. Yeah, that's right. That's how they told you it's Israel. It's not Israel. It's Yashra. That's right. But they put an I there because they're telling you that the Y is actually an I type. But you wouldn't know that difference. Sunday, March the 28th, what's going to happen? What is holy? And why, here it is. What is holy? H-O-L-I. And why is it celebrated? Here we go. Holy celebrated. The arrival of spring. spring. Now, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with celebrating spring? We don't have spring. <laughs> now, the end of winter, the blossoming of love. And for many, it is a festive day to meet others, play and laugh, forget and forgive, and repair broken relationships. The festival also celebrates the beginning of a good spring harvest season. Holy. Is that all we got? Holy is a popular ancient. I'm sorry. Holy is a popular, popular ancient Christian springtime <laughs> Hindu <laughs> festival. Also known as the festival of spring. See, that's how crowds will get you. You're dumb as hell. You mm -hmm. read Google and let Google put you to sleep and you ain't going to go no further. Mm -hmm. Oh, you beat me out. You're smart than me. No, you're not. <laughs> You're not smart, man, because it's a Hindu festival. That's right. The festival of what? Colors. That's why your ass run around with them eggs with them colors on it. Your light yellow, pink dress, lavender dress on, because your ass is Hindu. That's now, right. why you reading the book got holy on the front? It's supposed to be Christian, and it's Hindu. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's how they make a fool out of you. Mm -hmm. Look at these colors. Never seen these before in my life. First time I ever seen these colors. <laughs> Same stuff they do to you. Look at him. Happy holy. <laughs> Gonna get ready with your Easter speed. A <laughs> rabbit on eggs. A rabbit a live barrel. Yeah. Why in the hell you got them, your kids sitting right here reaching the rabbit ass trying to get eggs to scramble for bread? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know it makes you a dummy? That's right. Rabbit ass done got a tall new one. Boy, <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Man, you can't reach my ass for an egg. <laughs> You're right. A festival of love. The festival signified the triumph of good over <clears throat> evil. And I don't know why you'll be celebrating. You still him. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. See, yeah. We just grew up doing stuff. Nobody credit. Why your book got a hole on the front of it? Ain't it supposed to be Christian? No other God. Why they got holy on it? Let <clears throat> me go back. Don't worry about it. I ain't mean to mess y'all up. Happy Easter Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they want to do. They gonna do it. You know, they ain't gonna stop them. That's right. Go ahead, they ain't you know what? Stop. You're not supposed to, you know how many people I know that know what I teach and can recognize what I teach, understand I teach, carry their black ass right back to yep. something wrong. And that's the yep. dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yep. The dumb. Just dumb. How do you know that and you still go do it? That's stupid. Yep. Where I left at? We left him? Uh, four. No, we mm -mm. four. No, no, no we're down, we down seven. seven. Declaring the ordinance of Yahuwah. <laughs> the Yahuwah said to me, Thou art my being. being. Today, you, I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I will give thee the, the heathen. See, if we ask, he said, I'll give you thee, Bastard, mm. for thine inheritance and the ends of the arise for thy possession. 
Thou shalt rule them with a rod of iron. iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces as a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, understand, ye malachs, be instructed, all ye that shoth it, is the word for judge, the arots. Serve the Yahuwah with fear, which is Yara, and rejoice in him with trembling. Except what? <clears throat> Correction. That's what you need these people to do. Lest at any time the Yahuwah be angry and you should perish from the righteous, from the, which is Sadak. Darak, for way. When, whensoever his wrath shall be soundly, suddenly kindled, Barak, not blessed. There's another problem we got. This is a word right here they made a fool out of. Can we look at this word blessed? We're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed. <laughs> Say something. White folk don't make a fool out you. Yeah. <clears throat> you just story is blessing y'all book too. Everybody got blessed in their book. Yeah. Bless, bless. We blessed in the city. We blessed in the field. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> bless. Supreme. Look at that. Supremely happy. That's what it is when you bless. Supremely happy. Also consecrated. Look at him. Oh, we back <laughs> on here in the holy. Past participle adjective from bless. Revised or iconic sense of, oh, I'm a sorry, what it is this? Cursed. Cursed. Damned. <laughs> it's recorded from 1806, related, blessedly, blessedness. These folk will teach you stuff and make a fool out of you. Mm -hmm. What stuff we know? When you ever heard blessed? Who told you about being blessed? Your grandmama? Your granddaddy? Yeah. Your preacher? What? Blessed folk be opposite of curse. Mm-hmm. How you look this stuff up? Why do people don't know about etymology? Look right. at when words originated from and when they first were used. Mm -hmm. Originally, a blood sprinkling on pagan altars. Mm -hmm. What does originally mean? Start. started from. Can that be before original, can it? <laughs> That means everything coming from that would be a replica. Yeah. Right. That's so right. your ass run around here. Bless me, Lord. Oh, Lord, let your blessing flow down. So you're asking him to blood sprinkle on pagan idols. Mm. So the people that gave you this book loved you. Mm -hmm. And they want to see you saved. Mm -hmm. And they want to see you from get out from under the curse of your black skin. They want to see you get delivered and get saved and get the Holy Ghost. The showing up real Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. This is how they dumb us down. Yeah. This is why we're in the situation we're in. Yeah. We've never been taught to investigate now. What I'm doing, I went to church and showed them. Them folks are trying to tie me up and drag me out of there. Mm -hmm. That devil! Is that devil the one that wrote your book? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Is that devil the one that gave you these words and go to etymology of when the word originated? This is stuff most people too dumb to even know. Why won't you go back and see when this word was used? Oh, I know what it is. You changed it. It changed. That's what they tell you. White people always keep word there for a reason. I gave it to you to dumb you down and make you think it meant something. Bless you now. Be blessed. <laughs> bless. Bless you. And your dumb ass just sitting there just happy and merry. <laughs> and the world can't do me no harm. <laughs> world killing you. Yeah. I'll never sing that song again. The world killing you. How they can't do you no harm? You ignorant. Mm -hmm. You're dumb. Yeah. That's how they get them. Mm hmm. All right, let's go back. Where we at? Da -da -da. Go ahead, Dexter. <laughs> oh, that Kasha. <laughs> now they light it up for me right here. That's what they put you blessed. The actual word is Barak. B A R K. It means to bestow a gift. Barak. If you're going to use plural, the plural when you're doing Aubrey is not the same as plural when you're doing English. English plural is going to be with an S. When you're doing Aubrey words, they can be TH. They can be the M at the end of MIM. 
that can be used to show that it's plural. There are other different adjectives. We a different way, a different mm -hmm. way we can write, um, uh, verbalize our words to make it plural. Just like we say malak, a malak is one emperor. <clears throat> when we say mal a kings, then we're talking about emperors, plural. So the mem is at the end, mm -hmm. which makes it plural. Okay. Now they have past tense, and they'll use like they use bless, so it's gonna be a past tense end, correct? Yes, sir. With us, I was just saying like it is as Barack, it'll still cover in. Well, it was Baruch, I think. Baruch? In some places. And so Baruch. It can be Barack or Baruch. Baruch, yes, yeah, B-A-R-U-Q. B -A -R -U -Q. U -Q. B -R -U -Q. I think it was. Baruch, yeah. B-A-R-A-Q. Yeah, some place they will put it. So, uh, Barack are all they that trust in him. What else he got? That's the end of it. That's the end of it. Yes, sir. Should have told him, must be in one. No, <clears throat> no, hold on. Uh, Should have told him, touch not as I thought it was in the first. Is it not in there? No, that's not the one. It's not, say the second chapter? Yes, one in 15. Should have been before that. You said 100 and 105 and 15. All right, 105 and 15. Tahalim, they call it song, but the actual name is Tahalim. <clears throat> we see the mem at the end, which is the M, they'll call the M. It's actually for the mem. And see, a lot of that come in with learn, comes in with learn our vocabulary or learn our. Um, uh, this is, this is, this is, uh, 105 and. We'll do 105 and 4. What did you say? 15. Do 14. 105, 15. Tahalim means praises because you're putting the, the M at the end, which makes it plural. This is 104. It's a 105. Why is it saying? Oh, because in the Greek, it actually falls into 104. So, see, that's a different with the numbering mm -hmm. system. On the Greek, when you look in the Septuagint, it actually shows 104, <coughs> but it's 105 in there. Yes, 104 and 14. Read, Lee. Who's reading it? You or Chris? Read it. What did he say? He suffered no each to do them wrong. See what he did? He he permitted nobody to do them wrong. What happened? Yea, he reproved Malachim for their sake. See that? He rebuked them, which means he reprimanded them sharply. Y'all see that? Now who we can reference this to? That's quick. Move quick. That's taking too long. Who? Abraham. Abraham. Now such <coughs> answer. Who said that? You said it. So that's your answer. Well, like, don't try to throw that. Don't try to throw it off on nobody. He said, yeah, I was after him. Chapter 17. He's exactly wrong. Right and wrong at the same time. <laughs> right, it was Abraham. It's when Abraham went into mm -hmm. uh, Gerar in the 20th chapter of the book of Barashi, mm -hmm. right? The, not the 17th chapter. You'll see when Abraham went there with his wife, that he told him that was his sister. <clears throat> and when they took his wife, which is his Shah, they were going to lay with her, but Yahuwah wouldn't allow them to lay with her. And he also rebuked the Malachi. So when we read stuff, and we can't reference it, why are you accepting it? He suffered no each to do to wrong them. And he rebuked Malachi for their sakes. Now, this is written for them for their learning, for our learning. Right. So when I read this, where can I find this to happen? This is what hurt us. You read something, and you just take, it, you just take off with it. Where can you find this happening at? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, in the spirit, you just trust that doesn't make sense. We talked about before, everything we believe has to line well. Five senses. Five senses. Y'all got that? Five senses. What's your five senses? Hear. Hear. Sight. Sight. Feel. Mm. Feel. I think they're going to be able to touch. Feel. Is that going to fall on touch, ain't it? Mm. Please what don't, don't say feel and Riley sitting that close to your wife. <laughs> touch. Just touch. Don't feel, Riley. Well, smell. Taste taste. So explain to me how is he operating outside of this and he's telling me to understand him. Explain to me how, how is that working? <clears throat> hmm? Let me tell you something. These people, when they translate, got to watch them. You always got to remember they're using prejudice. You got to remember that. So a lot of these people are writing to still try to keep credibility to their religion. 
Notice nobody that ever translate that book will be of no religion whatsoever. They all fall under the premise of some type of ideology of religion, which means when they translate, they have to make it to where it accommodates their group. When I teach, I'm not teaching to favor Christianity, Hindu. I'm not trying to teach to, to try to benefit Protestants or Jehovah Witnesses or non-denomination because that's not my religion. I base my religion off of going back looking and saying, what lines up to make sense? I only have five. I believe before based off some things that I couldn't even fraction in my mind. Let me take you to heaven right now. Okay, take you to heaven. What does heaven look like? <laughs> what do you see? Heaven. Ghost. You see clouds. You see all white. Yeah. You see all this stuff going on in heaven. Okay? In your mind. Based off of what? What they told us. Based off what they told you in movies. They showed you uh, uh, who? Uh, Morgan Freeman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Morgan Freeman. You see Ronald Reagan. <laughs> That's right. That's who Uncle Rucker seen. <laughs> That's right. You see a white chariot, and, and mind you, the chariot he rode on was a Roman chariot. Ronald Reagan in heaven with a white cowboy suit on, yeah, with tassels on it, <laughs> and he ran on a Roman chariot. Right. What do you think the premise? And then Ruckus the nigga is asking Ronald Reagan, the cowboy on the Roman chariot, who all him? <laughs> no, Whippy. Whippy Goldberg is not here. <laughs> And what color did Ruckus turn when he went down? White. white. So what's the idea for you? White. white. To go to heaven is to be white. Mm -hmm. So you see white people, what do you automatically assume? They going to heaven. They going to heaven. Yeah. The place that you imagine that you're looking for is all has another place that it replicates. Jerusalem. Right, right. Jerusalem. <clears throat> He told you about the tree. It also has a represent of showing you of the of, of the gun that they'll call the garden. Right. And it's not of no Eden. I don't know why these people come there. I told that Massengill. That's right. The word didn't even exist. That's right. So there are places, he told you there are rivers. Huh? And on either side, what do you find? Tree. The tree of Kai, the tree of life, the arts of Kai. Mm -hmm. Which means tree of life. So there are things that are replicas here because he knows in order for me to understand anything he's telling me, I have to understand it based off of five senses. I can see it. I can go there and I can touch it. <clears throat> I can hear it. I can see all these, all these things can work inside of him. So that's how I come up with the idea. That's how I understand and I correlate relationships. We have fabricated relationships. And that hurts us. Mm -hmm. I remember, man, I was in high school in eighth grade, man. I, I dated Kim Field. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was in eighth grade. We used to take. <laughs> I had a pitch up on my wall. Got a magazine. That was my, and she would be smiling. Every time I listen, she always was smiling at me. She had made up. Mm -hmm. So like your relationship about you being saved. That's mm -hmm. right. I got her out of a book, though. Mm -hmm. She had that little black jacket on. She was like, oh, she had a half fit. I said, that's my girl right now. <laughs> that was my girl right now. Fabricated, made up, come out of a book. That's right. Same thing you're doing now. You fabricate a relationship. Mm -hmm. All I do is come back and take you the truth and let you see this man don't know you and you don't know him. So in order to create a relationship, it's got to be based off the things we know. It's got to be more tangible than stuff that people just giving us. It's a lot of physicality that's involved in what we're doing. These people try to make it, it's all spiritual, all spiritual. The spiritual translate over from what we know from natural. Y'all got me? Mm -hmm. This stuff these people trying to give and trying to put you off on this, on this spiritual trip makes absolutely no sense because you only got five. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense to be a superior being, to be <clears throat> greater than all, and hell, you can't even work with five senses. That's all you gave me. I know it's outside your I know it don't make no sense. I know you can't see, smell, and touch it, but believe. Hell, I'm going to stay in America. I'm believing like something's going to happen. Folk going to give me shit. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be great, and I'm going to turn white and go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's outside my five senses. Mm. That's not even logical. Everything he asks you to believe, there's a logic behind it. That's true. That's right. 
It's got to make sense. Because you got to believe it. How many people are going to try to come and try to change your mind? And the only way to do that, if you have something that's not concrete, not sure. So when we built, how do we build? On a sure foundation. On a sure foundation, which is going to put you on a stone. Right. The word is a bond. Right. Okay? Right. It had to be on something solid that could hold what you're trying to establish. I'm trying to establish a relationship with the creator. Right. So I got to put it somewhere where it can hold. Right. If it's on something, it is not based on some solid. It's just a matter of time it's going to come down. Hmm? We've seen that. Is that something that's spiritual or that's something we've seen natural? Natural. In Hades, when the, um, when the hurricane, when the, um, what it was, came through. Was All the tsunami they hit them. No, they have. They get. What they get in Haiti? Earthquake. Earthquake came through. What happened to most of the buildings? They fell. And you know how they fell? Because of how they were built. Right. Mm -hmm. See, when time comes to test what you're standing with, mm -hmm. that's when you find out what you got. Right. They wound up bringing in new. They brought in builders from over here to yeah. try to go and show them how to construct. That's right. See, you got to consider if you're in a in a flood plain, it's a certain way you got to build. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. If you're gonna play with earthquake, then you gotta make sure that your that your foundation is solid and how you establish so it can withstand up to. Right. These all night. That's not spiritual. It's natural. Right. So now he's telling me about building in him. How many storms? How many things I'm going to have to? Work, how many times am I going to be shaken here? So how do I have to build? Mm -hmm. I gotta make sure I got a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. And that's based off of me and natural. I translate it over to what we'll call <clears throat> spiritual, which is ruach. You got it. Don't let people make no fool out of you. We done with that stuff. This is what he did. He suffered no each to wrong them. And he rebuked Malachim for whose sake? Their sake. For your sake. Saying, touch not, not my Mashiach. ones. That's more than just single. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That plural. Yes, sir. See, we start out when they killed Shaul. He told him, how was it you weren't afraid to kill his Mashiach? Was he the only Mashiach? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Because they put ones. And when That's you right. put that Z, that <laughs> S behind it, it's plural. That's right. And do my, my, my nabah, nabaim. There are no such things as prophet. This word actually came from somebody that Sue says. Right. That's what a prophet is. Somebody that Sue says. Can we look that up? <clears throat> I don't want to just tell. So you need to know this. How many of y'all done read y'all book and heard about prophet? How many folk done y'all seen folk come to church? Prophet. Felicia, I think when I first talked to you, you was coin, Brian Corn, the prophet. She heard one of my videos, cut down. <laughs> think about it. These folk come to town, they prophets. Why, then let's see why these people take this <clears throat> stuff and what acts they do. Person who speaks for God, one who foretells inspired preacher from the old French prophet, what prophet, prophet, what is this? Soothsayer. What in the world is that? Hmm. Probably, you know who they probably is? Sade. No need to tell. <laughs> He's a soothsayer. <laughs> soothsayer. <laughs> Nigga ain't no smooth operator. That's right. He's a soothsayer. That's right. Let me go what a soothsayer is. <laughs> this is how dangerous this book is mm -hmm. that you're reading. It's dangerous. Because you're holy, you're God holy, <laughs> you've been blessed, and you feel like you're a prophet. Mm -hmm. I'm going up a yarn. You study going down <laughs> to be with my Lord. <laughs> you're going down, baby. That's right. That's right. They fooled us. It's been a masquerade the whole time. Let's oh, see what this okay. is. They be making up stuff again. Sue sale. One, who speaks truth? <laughs> Late. Sue Sigger. <laughs> Fortune Teller. Now, ain't it any fun with these crystal balls? Mm -hmm. People go to them and pay these people to sit down and tell them what they see inside of a crystal ball. These Sue sale. Old England had Sir Sue X speaking the truth. Act of speaking the truth. What did Google say about these folks? You think I believe this? A suicide? Because <laughs> your book recorded a suicide as somebody that does differently. Mm -hmm. I want to look up their suicide. And then we're going to look up in the Arboree. Because we got we to gotta find these people out and search them out for what they're saying. Uh, 
Oh, a person supposed to be able to foresee the future. <coughs> Soothsayer, a prophet, prophetess, seal, sibyl, I don't know what that, uh, I ain't never heard of Agur, Agur, a wise man, wise woman. Put that inside a uh, lexicon. Palm reader, crystal glazer, prognosticator. There's all these folk fall up here. See, I call a psychic. <laughs> so they get it. Sound good now. So we go with the palm reader too, and the oracle. <clears throat> Because we got a lot of other things that's attaching these people now. A medium. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. find out what a medium is. Maybe that's like halfway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not at all. <clears throat> Being a session through which repression, uh, session which the organism lives or is cultivated. What's that whole scripture? What is this right here? Inner line, the operating, translated, it's a means of doing something. Use the lake technology as a medium for a job creation. No, it means by which something is communicated or expressed. There's languages and intervening substance through which impressions are conveyed to the sense of the force acts to objects at a distance. Impression are conveyed to the sense or a force action on objects at a distance. I think that's going to get these bastards over here. Particle <coughs> form of storage and digitized information such as a magnetic tape or a disc. They also had this as another word. Well, this coming mm -hmm. up medium. Mm -hmm. Is this all the meaning for this? <coughs> there you go. Number there five. Go. A person claiming, I don't know what this is, a person claiming to be in contact with the spirits of the dead and to communicate between the dead and the living. Mm -hmm. See, mind reader, fortune teller, all these fortune teller. See, these people will get you and they will play <coughs> you just long enough that they'll show you that all these people are going in the same barrel. And this is why people are going, and know that when people go to them, they're always looking for something spiritual. Mm -hmm. People go to media trying to contact dead people. Yep. I got books that the dead don't know anything. That's, That's right. right. That's right. <clears throat> he That's said, right. but the living know they're going to die. That's, That's right. right. See, these people put us and they have us run out so you can associate all these people and feel like these people are all the same things. The word that we actually have is called naba. And a naba is not a fortune teller or a mind reader. A naba is something. Let's look at what a naba is. We'll show them in the operation. So you can look these <clears throat> words up. Yeah. Boom. So they'll come Nabaim. So that's a Naba. This is the prop this is it right here. Naba is how you pronounce it. This is the phonic of it. Naba, see this, this is the noon, which means what? This is the seed, perpetual. This is? Commit. Commits. This is their, this is their vial system, which is telling us this is N-A. So this is Naba, this is the noon, then you're coming in with the A sound, Naba, Na. Then this is the Beth. See this right here, they put the Y, they put the dot right here. What are they trying to tell us? I'll tell you. I type. Exactly. That's why you see this. You'll see though, they're, they're trying to make this the Y right here. This is a yard, which is what they'll call a Y. But when they put the vowel point right here, this should be Karik. Mm -hmm. Karik, they're telling you now that your Y is actually an I type. The same thing I told you when you spell holy, H O L I. They put H O L Y because they're telling you that your Y is an I type. So in doing that, that's how they put it. It will actually be N A. B A Naba, so Naba, and then they'll come right back and make a fool out of it. That's what it is. It's a prophet. So inspired man. Then the King James tell you every time. Now you go and look at when James runs the word. He's going to run it for prophecy, the prophecy or prophet is what he's going to come back and try to tell you that it is. This is what he's going to render the word as. But the actual word is a Naba. Now a Naba is somebody that study flows.
That's what a Naba is. He, he studied flow. So now this is what you got to look at. When they give it to you, they're going to write it based off of how they see it because these people were Christians. When they came to James to get James to get him the authority to translate the King James Version, they were trying to protect the Catholic Church. That was their only concern. The Catholic Church had been through Reformation where they were losing people. You had the Lord of Movement had already come through and started breaking them off because of uh, Wycliffe's writings. And because of John, I think with John Wycliffe is his name, because of his writing, it had caused the reformation of breaking up because people had been believing it and they couldn't read. When they gave these people, it, it was actually translated for Western so people could be able to read it in their language. So when they translate in their language, you translate it over to make them comfortable for what they believe. All this stuff you can check out and you can read. That was their purpose. It was never intended for you. This was always written for white people. For Christianity. So they're going to write it. So that's why they say, listen, a prophet, a medium, a soothsayer are all the same people. We don't have them. They'll come right along and show you in your book and tell you those mediums, you were supposed to put them in the death. That's right. A charmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A wizard. That's right. A necromancer. All these people, you're supposed to put them to death. That's right. Then they come along and say, well, a prophet, a medium, what well, are all the same people? Because these people work with spirits. Y'all don't actually know that the police department, the FBI, and the CIA all use it. They employ That's these right. people. That's right. They That's employ right. mind readers. They employ these people. Fortune teller spiritualists. They use these people. These people on payroll. They just yeah. don't tell you about them. That's right. They always consult. All these people are in the business of consulting these people. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing with y'all. So they'll give you stuff and they'll make things sound like it's the same as to make you feel like it's no harm. So when you look at the definition, you'll say, well, James run of the word. I won't say in the bar. I'll just say prophet. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. If it's the same thing, they'll be the same word. Mm -hmm. But they gave you something to make you comfortable. So now, oh, I know it's the bar, but prophet in there too. Who put it in there? The trend to make who feel good. To justify who? Themselves. It wasn't for you. Right. And until you learn that, you're going to continue to stay behind your oppressor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get ready to let y'all go. I just need us to think. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I just need us to think about how dangerous it is the years we've spent not thinking, being clueless, being mindless to what he's actually told us versus what we're actually hearing and being taught. Not being able to verify, justify any of the things that you're You're looking at, you're a living <clears throat> creature, living being, which means you're going to die. Are you willing to die with a lie? Mm -mm. You know, even white people will come up before they die and they'll come out of somewhere, 108 years old, just need to confess what yep. they did. Yep. You know they realize? You're going to have to give them an the account. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. They'll pray, but know that just before they die, yep. they'll come out. Some of them will come out before they get real sick and all. Mm -hmm. I want to confess that I killed Eric. Yep. Hell, I got a week to live. Mm -hmm. By the time they process the paperwork, I'll be out of You know what they'll say? He was a good man, just like I thought. Hmm. They don't tell it while they're teenagers. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't come out where they can do the life center. That's right. Mm -hmm. Where the, where the, where the <clears throat> state can get 40, 50, 80 years out of their ass. Mm -hmm. They come up right when they got 20 minutes to live. Life support. Let me come out and tell y'all what I did. Mm -hmm. I killed a president. I did all this old fools and rhetoric. They come out and tell her. Because white people know just what we don't know. You're going to have to give an account for what yeah. you've done. You're right. going to have to confess it before you leave. Yeah. That's right. If you don't confess it now, you want to confess it when he come back. Here. That's right. Yeah. But say, leave you a fool to make you die and hold stuff. And once you leave him with it and you ain't right, you can't make that right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's why it's good to get the information so you learn how you ought to walk. That's what Shaul told her. Furthermore, you receive of us how you ought to, I walk. to walk. And to please who? Uh -huh. I never please white people. Because white right. people going to want me to bow down and do something that's going to be against what he told me. That's right. Y'all got it. So mm -hmm. he never told you how you could please me. He told you so you could please Allahim. Mm -hmm. So you would do what? Yeah. So you would become more abundant. Mm -hmm. This is really getting pissed with you because I can't hear more than you yelling so <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Dixon, what you going to do with them? <laughs> he said, I'll let you slide a couple more times. <laughs> but this is the thing that we have to consider. Who we always trying to look at pleasing? Them. White folks. Always. Yeah. Why you think you send your kids to school? How do you got the most deadly disease out here in the world? Nobody couldn't go nowhere. Nobody can't tell you about six feet apart. All the kids go back to school safely. 
Mm-hmm. Chick can't open them up now. They find them broke now. Realize got, they don't make sense. Mm-hmm. How of a sudden everybody stayed in the house when they told them you scared the hell to death. Can't go nowhere. Get Uber. Uber Eats. Grub Hub. Everybody <laughs> come. Now all of a sudden your kids go to school around here. You know damn well they ain't finna run no bus with no three kids on. It. That's right. But loaded damn well they ain't finna put no seat between them. And them kids ass ain't finna be standing out. You got to piss. I'm going to ride it. That's not pissing the stall with you. That's right. <laughs> But as soon as they need their program to start back work, they look at we're breaking programming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These kids are left at home to research and study, and they'll get a different dogma. And I need them back in here where I can keep them so, so, uh, domesticated. Yep. Exactly. And now I got to sell everybody on now because they're going to start thinking, if these kids can all go to school, why can't I go out? Guess what? We're going to reopen everything. No mm-hmm. limits. No. So what happened? That's where did right. the disease go? That's right. That's right. Because your whole fears are based off of them. He told you that they give you the program. When they need you gone, they get you. They need the control of of your mind, of your kids. For people of color, we need to be to educate our kids, not their system. That's right. Mm -hmm. Take their system, educate your kid, but then teach them the correct way as well. Mm-hmm. They live here, so they got to know how to operate here. But when they know the truth, that's going to make them where they don't have to come suppressive to these people. That's right. You've been told to grow in the con. They're going to call great and in the knowledge of who? I don't know. You stagnated. How you growing? What con you got? The only favor the most high give you is when you're doing what he said. If you've been written, if you've been given wrong information, how have you been getting con? Because you're not operating for him to give you favor. You're not believing what he told you to believe. You've been given something that's been controlled. But now he's starting to take the wool off our eyes. Right, mm-hmm. right. Let us think you can't get these church. They're not going to put that up and show you this is where it comes. Let's read it. Let's check this. So we can make sure we're right when we leave. That's right. How many times people pray and ask and listen? I know I ain't right. I know I ain't supposed. I ain't, I'm, I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm trying. <clears throat> that's a beautiful prayer. But if you still got wrong information, what's going to happen? Continue doing wrong. The conviction is there. We just ain't got the information to get away from. It. Right, mm-hmm. right. Got it? Right. Yes, sir. It ain't just about people thinking, we just all need to go back to Africa. Hell no, Africa deal is wrong too. Yeah, yeah. We got to go away from a mindset. That's mm-hmm. what we're trying to go around. If a man get himself the right information and learn what's actually done and how to orchestrate things, wherever he at, he can be free. <laughs> Abraham. He was in Gerar. Yeah. One in captivity. Nobody owned him. You see that? Mm-hmm. He, didn't have, he didn't got to Jerusalem yet. What we later call Jerusalem. Yahuwah showed us, I can keep you where you at if you just know what I told you to do. Right. And you maintain. Right. All the people got, let's go back. Where are you going back to? You don't even know nothing. The last thing you do is go back somewhere and repeat the <coughs> same cycle of why they got cast out. Because they broke protocol. So now it makes sense to educate us. When Musha came to get our forefather from Mitzrayim, they call he's a Roman. The name is Mitzrayim. Egyptians don't call themselves Egypt. They call themselves Mitzar. Because that's the name of the place. Mitzarim, Mitzrayim. What did he do first? Teach them. Show them all the signs. Show them all the wonders. Show them everything that I told you before you bring them out. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they are doomed to repeat to go back. To take us out of here is going to be a bigger downfall than the one we in now. Mm. So I got to educate you. Yeah. So when you get to the place, you already know what the mandate saw. That's right. He didn't get them law when they got in no when they got in mm. no Jerusalem. Before he gave them law before. That's so right. we would know you're supposed to do these when you get, get there. there. That's right. I remember something we would let you go somewhere. And let your ass know that. Listen, folks, him. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Your ass better sit down somewhere. That's, that's right. right. That's if right. you want something, the answer no. No. Right. Tell, you know where you get in the house? Uh-huh. Tell her, huh? Before we get in here. I'm going right. to tell your ass something. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Don't touch nothing. That's right. Don't do nothing. That's sit your ass down somewhere. That's right. Folks, see, you said, woo, always so mad on me. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> folks don't know. Say, listen, if you heard what I heard, you your heart, <laughs> you'll sit your ass down somewhere. That's true. That's yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but you, but when it, and what they told you, where were you supposed to perform the acts? When you get there. When you get there. That's right. Right. Now these folks keep trying to run us out of here. We don't even know what to do when we get there. <laughs> Come on, that's right. 
<laughs> That's our goal to educate our people. Yes, yes sir. sir. So we do better. Yes, sir. That's, That's good. Right. Yes, sir.